Hello, I'm Dr. Jacek Kopec. I'm a senior scientist with Arthritis Research Canada. Hi, my name is Dr. Chuck Ratzlaff, and I'm a clinical epidemiologist and orthopedic physiotherapist. Hip osteoarthritis is a form of arthritis in the hip joint that usually develops slowly over many years. People with hip OA often have pain, which affects daily activities. From conducting research, we believe a condition called femoroacetabular impingement, or FAI, may lead to hip OA. FAI typically starts in adolescence and young adulthood. It occurs when extra bone grows along one or both of the bones that form the hip joint. This causes the bones to fit together imperfectly and create extra friction. The friction may worsen with certain physical activities and eventually lead to damage or away in the hip joint. The most common symptom in FAI is anterior hip or groin pain. Often there's clicking in the hip joint. Sometimes there's pain on the outside of the hip. In this research, we wanted to find out if there is a relationship between physical activity and hip pain in relatively young people. And what is the role of FAI in this relationship? We examined people 20 to 49 years of age who may be at risk of developing OA in the future. We also wanted to know if people who have FAI are at a higher risk of developing hip pain when they engage in various types of physical activities. So certain sports and occupations which bring the knee to the chest, things like hockey, cycling, skiing, going upstairs frequently, squatting, all those can activate FAI. In other words, bring the bones together early and cause FAI to become symptomatic and painful. Physiotherapy, rehabilitation, movement retraining form the foundation of treating FAI conservatively. And this can involve manipulating the joint, releasing tight muscles around the joint, recommending exercises to strengthen or lengthen muscles around the hip joint. And exercise is medicine. Move, move, move. So what becomes important is the patient's symptoms and the examination of the patient. The relationship um, between different types and levels of FAI and hip OA is not fully understood. An important question is how FAI develops in the first place and if it can be prevented. We also need more research to demonstrate the effectiveness of surgical and non-surgical treatments of FAI in reducing hip pain and preventing hip OA in the long run. There is a lot we still don't know. Working in partnership with patients to develop and conduct research ensures that our research is meaningful and helpful to the people who need it the most.